Welcome to Option Center. It is Tuesday, 928-21. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for being here. If you're new, go down to the bottom right-hand corner. Hit that Option Center logo and subscribe. If you are seeing this video, please hit the notification button if you like this information so you can get these videos each and every day. Um, we're going to do a uh, free video for everybody. Um, not just the patrons. Um, we want to do a market update real quick. If you want something a little bit more thorough, check out the weekend video. Uh, I'll post it at the end of this video so you can click right on it and uh, you'll see much more thorough uh, point of view of what uh, what I'm expecting for the market to head at this point. So we have SPX on the daily. We have the ending diagonal one, two, three, four, five. Had a throw over breaking down from the diagonal. Um, broke down from the 50 MA uh, and then bounced off the 100. Now we, we, we tried to pop back over there, pulled in a lot of bulls, sucked them in and then uh, broke down overnight. Gap and go. Today was a awesome awesome day for us um so we're right back at the 100 will we bounce from here we may have a reaction but usually when you come back to a uh, moving average so quick we're looking to go through it um maybe uh maybe peek through it but i'll show you on the lower time frame what we're actually expecting now on the on the daily we have our a in b and we are expecting a five wave move down for a um, and then you can look at the weekend video to see what we're looking for for that. But you see the targets down low. We have the diagonal measured move um, for the ending diagonal, which started right here at that doji candle there, the hammer. So we're looking for that at minimum to reach that area with 3.2 and also this uh, rising pivot uh, from the megaphone back in uh, the corona crash and beyond so we have a huge megaphone and that's a, a massive area if we break down from this area i do suspect something else is really happening but to really invalidate what we're looking for that wave four so let's go down to a lower time frame and a 65 minute chart get down to the nitty-gritty okay the end of the di diagonal we had to throw over broke down from it back test the diagonal the ending diagonal uh, broke down really quick and then uh, my god had a v-shaped recovery so that's what pulled all the bulls back in you know we didn't know if it, we'd actually break from that point but it looked like a corrective rally so that's why we stuck with our guns on the uh, bear side we got our reversal now we're looking at a one two three four five wave move down for an impulsive wave one a corrective wave two and these these are not holding the position where uh, they where I expect them to break back to um, so we have a one two and then a large wave three beyond that so we'll be looking for a very impulsive wave after we correct pretty soon here maybe um, tomorrow or the next day we should see a um, a one or two day um, three at the most day rally to um to put in a wave two before we actually start uh, descending uh much lower at that point and probably much more rapid so if you know i said this in the um in the options guy that's our uh a discord it's a free discord that uh, i'm involved in so i said that there i said i'll be really really surprised if we do not have a three percent down day on the SPX or the SPY or ES in one day. It's just, it's bound to happen um, probably on the wave three down. Okay, so let's look over to the SPY. Check out the volume on the daily trend is our friend. Let's dig in a little deep here. Look at that volume. That's what we're talking about. That's the confirmation we needed. It's not a capitulation where uh, we think that we're actually going to start going to the upside from here. That's more like the capitulation that we had the other day. 
Um, I didn't recognize it to to see that we'd have a bounce so high, but um, I, I knew that we were looking for a bounce at at some time in that area. It just it went. It was a rip your face off rally. I didn't realize it'd go so high. Now, great follow through volume with the uh, bearish movement, and we should see a little bit of volume uh, coming up soon. Um, to represent that wave three to the downside. We have a huge range for the target to, to fill. So, you know, I, I, I do suspect we'll have some rapid movement. We have that uh, MACD try to cross back up, but well into the uh, bearish territory and pushing down to the downside. Um, tried to push up to the RSI, that 50 area rejected from there. So we're headed back down. Okay, so... Last, well, not last, second to last, we have our VIX futures. We use the VX futures, and you're going to see the same board that I use for the Patreon with our levels here. We're, uh, we're going to take off some profits each level that we go to, our end level being the 36 area that we should spike to. It might be very quick, uh, but that's for us to talk privately so if you want to join the patreon it's five dollars for the first year ten dollars if you want the trade alerts and um uh and be messaged for each of those items so here we go we have the vix futures uh we came back below we're oscillating back and forth around this uh this support slash resistance and uh we're looking we're, we're actually pushing off of it now not much of a move yet but uh, that will be our first target here at $25, looking at $29.36 after that. Uh, we're looking very perky, made that nice round bottom. And so I do suspect we'll break out uh, pretty soon here. And I mean within a week, you guys. Within a week, we're looking at um, a, a huge move to the downside, huge move to the upside on the VIX. Because we actually just, we came up out of the uh, bullish falling wedge back tested it and now we're pushing off of it so that's that's going to be our launch pad there and we're looking for um some some follow through pretty soon all right so um last but not least let's go back to the spx and just check out our options expected move so we keep looking at the options expected move to see what our game play like our our field um, of play is here and the options um, the options market usually is very very um, efficient and uh, depicting whether you stay within these lines the white line is where we start off the week the um, the orange lines are the expected move for the week we break we start breaking through those and we get inefficiency that means something is changing within the market that means um, that it, it's just kind of given us a um, like a, um, an essence of what's happening. Are things breaking down or really pushing to the upside? Is volatility volatility increasing to the upside or downside? Uh, well, you see, we started to uh, we're really decreasing in the um, the range of this uh, options expected move, and then we started to break down. The range got huge, and we didn't move anywhere uh, back here, and then we actually pushed. To the bottom efficiently of that um, options expected move and uh, broke back up into um, into that range and now this week we actually started down immediately uh, on Monday didn't move anywhere a little bit to the downside but uh, really just a small range um, double inside day and then we gap down to to break right through the options expected move which was a um a 71 point move to the upside or 71 point move to the downside we went to the downside broke through that uh very rapidly and now um we we expect some inefficiency to continue so that's all you guys that's what we have here um for the the week do i expect to go back into this option expect well we have a whole week left over we could push it to the downside a little bit more we could break back up but um you know probability had is it that we'll actually end up inside this range so keep an eye out on that and uh, we'll keep you we'll keep you posted tomorrow we'll make another video to update you so thanks for joining us here at option center have a good night